A biology teacher? Yeah. Okay. Hang on, who are you? Oh, I'm Marissa. Marissa who? Robbins. Okay. I'm Coach McTeague. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm going to ask you a few questions if that's okay. Sounds great. Okay. Am I talking to you or the camera or which one? Does it matter? No, it doesn't matter. Okay. You can look at me, you know, either one. Okay. Okay. What made you want to be a softball coach and a biology teacher? Well, I enjoy athletics and I enjoy softball. Uh, all athletics, but particularly softball. I enjoy working with girls and coaching girls. And uh, biology, I was an animal science major. And biology was kind of a natural fit towards that. Uh, they go hand in hand because softball is a part of life and so is biology. Uh, all that <laughs> makes it. So it's kind of cool. I enjoy it. Okay, cool. What do you like better? Like uh, I like coaching better, in all honesty, because you can see instantaneous results. Watch a kid hit the ball, they can work on their swing and they get the ball instantly. And they smile real big and they're satisfied and so forth. With biology, they got to study a little bit. It takes a long time to do a project like DNA models and that kind of stuff. Yeah. And sometimes they don't turn out as good as you want them to, but they still end up in the long run hopefully learning something and passing the tax test and yeah. graduating someday. Someday. On my list. I hope so. <laughs> um, what college did you go to and was it on scholarship? I went to Texas Tech, it was not on scholarship. I thought I was uh, good enough to play baseball, and I realized real quick that I wasn't. <laughs> uh, everybody that goes to college was good in high school, at least if they played college ball, and uh, I was good, but I wasn't that good. And so I got a real dose of reality. One of the best things ever, ever told to me was, you're not good enough. And so I realized I either had to work harder to get better, or I had to work harder at other things. And I decided to work harder at other things. Um, how long have you been teaching or coaching? This is my fifth year. Uh, I've been teaching and coaching for five years. I taught two years in graduate school at Texas Tech, and I've taught five years in public school here. Uh, this is my first year at MAC. I love it here. Uh, it's been great. Everything they told me has not come true because the kids actually are smart, even though they don't admit it sometimes. <laughs> uh, and the diversity is great. Uh, I love all the kids from different countries and places. It's been, it's been awesome. Yeah, we got a lot of diverse students here. We do. Which would you rather choose, real, I mean, um, biology teacher or a softball coach? If I had to choose, I like coaching. I mean, I think most coaches get into teaching because they want to coach. However, coaching is the same thing as teaching. We're, we're teaching all the time. Yeah. And um, it's, uh, but the softball, once again, instantaneous results. Also with softball, it's, uh, it's much more of a team concept than a classroom is. Softball, all the girls hope they're going for one goal and one goal. That's to win the championship, to, to make the playoffs and to go as far as we can, to be the best team. In a classroom, you may just want to get a C. Maybe you want to get an A. There are a lot of individual goals, but we try to get it to a team concept. Basically, everybody's for themselves, right? Yeah, somewhat. and somewhat in the yeah. classroom. Was teaching your first major? No, it wasn't. Uh, I was an animal science major. I wanted to be a veterinarian and save all the animals. <laughs> and uh, then I realized you had to go through organic chemistry. And I failed organic chemistry the first time. I took it during the summer and passed it, thank God, with a C, and I was so happy. Uh, it's, uh, but I realized that I wasn't cut out to be a veterinarian. I didn't want to go to school for seven or eight years either. So uh, I stayed with animal science, and uh, that actually helped me get a job teaching in biology. Uh, because animal science and biology obviously are very close related, so it helped. So you're saving the kid instead of the animal? Uh, <laughs> let's hope so. Uh, it's, uh, I don't treat kids to get hit by cars or have yeah. or whatever, but hopefully we can at least expand their mind. Yeah. This one too, by the way. <laughs> what do you do in the summer? Uh, as little as possible, actually. No, I, it's, uh, <laughs> I'd have, uh, I usually teach summer school and or do summer camps, so I'm busy for the month of June. In July, uh, I actually uh, take care of my stuff around my house. I get about one month off, maybe. I go to coaching clinics, coaching camps. I actually do some camps for other coaches. And um, it's, uh, we take a family vacation to San Antonio or somewhere in Texas, usually. And then in the end of the summer, toward the middle of August, my wife and I go on a big trip. And we've been all over the world with our trips, so it's been pretty cool. We'll get to see on your pictures. <laughs> yeah, we've been all over Europe, and we've been just all over the world. It's awesome. Get a chance to travel, travel. <laughs> well, thank you for your time. You're welcome. Enjoy. <laughs>